Hey everyone, it's Leo. Welcome to a very special edition of the Hillbilly Files. Uh, some of you may recognize uh, I'm at Aunt Betty's house right here. Uh, Sally McCoy's grave where Rosanna and Johnsy, when Rosanna and Johnsy got together, he more or less seduced her, that sort of thing, got her pregnant and then abandoned her and dumped her and started dating her cousin. And the baby is buried right up here on the hill. Johnsy and Rosanna's baby's right up there on that little hill. But uh, this isn't why we're out here today. I'm just just passing by and thought I'd stop here for just a second. This is on the way to where I'm actually going today. Um, some of you may remember um, from one of our other videos just recently uh, over at uh, Devlance. Hatfield's uh, home place um, The episode where we did the metal detecting um, you, you probably remember uh, Danny. He was the, the metal detector guy but uh, uh, We are getting together. We did a little bit of talking, you know got to be friends, you know on Facebook that kind of thing talking a little bit and uh, Wow check out that turkey vulture Big one right there great big turkey vulture just sitting there anyway uh, <laughs> <laughs> squirrel <laughs> some things never change y'all but <laughs> anyhow uh we're getting together and we're going to do uh sort of a camping fishing you know kind of video and i'm out looking for some super pristine campsites near the river and um y'all know you've seen you know some of these places i've shown y'all before you know some of these are i mean just spectacular breathtakingly beautiful you know um so today should be today should be a, a fun video you know no, no one dies there's no murders no one dies well other than you know these three they you know other than these three dying you know i, I guess i can't quite completely get away from that sort of thing i suppose but uh, anyhow it should be really cool places really beautiful places uh, i've got several picked out that uh, I haven't been to in a while. A couple of them I have. But uh, you know how that goes down by the sites down by the river. The water gets up and changes things and all that sort of stuff. So I want to check them out before we actually come and, you know, uh, set up for the camping trip or something, you know, and all that good stuff. I want to make sure that we've got a good spot picked out. But I figured you guys might like to come along. And, you know, since we were coming right by here, I thought I would stop. And like I said, I've showed you this before, but uh, we didn't really have the GoPro. We had a little, a little phone camera with us. So I thought I'd stop by here real quick and just show you the house real fast. Got the, got the Can-Am out today. The uh, handy dandy Hillbilly Files Mustang is at the house. And <laughs> we're out in the handy dandy Hillbilly Files Can-Am. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. The Mustang won't make it where we're going. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to get in here and I guess load up and head on out to our first stop. And I think you guys are really going to like these. These are super spectacular West Virginia and Kentucky. Just beautiful. You'll, you'll see. You'll, you'll see what I mean in just a second. But anyhow, that's where you go up. The baby's grave is up here and you can see the old original marker and we'll put a link to it uh, in the comments down below so you guys can check out that video if you'd like for those of you who haven't seen it already but uh, this guy that owns this he's a really good guy um, they moved the house Aunt Betty's house used to be over here but they relocated it over to here and the guy that owns this he's you know he's a descendant and just a really really good guy you guys would love him just the funniest human you've ever met in your life but but anyhow we're gonna head on out and start checking out some really cool sites check that out doesn't look like much does it there's a little place down here called burnwell beach uh, i showed you guys this once before but can you check this out this is a, a pretty popular spot with a lot of locals and a lot of trail riders as well. 
bring a lot of trail riders down here on our tours. You can play in the water and carry on. But check this out how beautiful this is. Look at that. How tranquil is that? Somebody down here fishing already. Like I said, this is a pretty popular spot with locals. This is a really good spot here. This is called Burnwell Beach. And you've got a little bit of both. You've got the deep water over here if you want catfish, carp, uh, you know, deep water species. You've got the shallows right there. You can get out there with a little spinner and just slay some bass and stuff like that. Uh, this is a really good spot. The only thing, I actually learned to swim right around this curve, right over there. But uh, the only thing about this spot that I don't like is, like I said, it's, it's frequented a lot by locals. It's pretty busy. Not real busy, but, you know, get one, one or two people busy, that kind of thing. So, but, uh, you know, if you're, if you're going to do camping and it's kind of, you want solitude, you know, uh, we'll watch just for a second and see if they might get lucky. Y'all catching anything? Got one? How many? Ten. Ten? I heard that. Right here, right here, but yeah. It, it, it's a good river for some fishing now. Y'all have fun. That's the way you do it. You want her paid? What's that? You want her Facebook page? On your Facebook page? Yeah. Uh, oh no, I know. I, I've heard of you. I've heard of you. I, I'm Leo with Trail Ten Tours. With, with Trail Ten Tours, I do tours here. And uh, we have a, a YouTube channel. We do a lot of historic sites and things like that. And, uh, you know, cool locations, that sort of thing. That's what I was doing today. That's what I was out here doing today. We have been up to Great Bond, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, which it didn't really rain much. I heard that. Yeah, I've seen your Facebook page. I sure have. Call friends of the Tug Fork River, guys, by the way. All right, I guess we're going to head on out. Guys, y'all have fun and good luck to you, and I hope you catch them all. 99%. Like I said, this is a spectacular spot. Uh, gnarly does that look check this out though look what's down here let me get in four wheel drive this mud here tends to sink a little bit right here. you see what I mean it once we get here though through the weeds <laughs> what 
quite as weedy last fall when I was here. Wow, check this out. This one, like I said, I camped here last fall, right there on that sandbank, as a matter of fact, and fished right in, well, I didn't fish, but you know, played around, that kind of thing. Camped out, had me a little fire, all that good stuff. But check that out. Now that looks like some good fishing, doesn't it? Look at that, swift water, shallow water. Get out and wade it if you wanted. Got some deep water right there for some cat fishing. What do you think, Danny? That look interesting? <laughs> Not too shabby, huh? I mean, when you think of, you know, a river in West Virginia, you know, in the middle of nowhere. This is pretty much exactly what comes to mind right here. Let's look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Mountains, birds, animals, wildlife. Of course, there's a little bit of trash, a piece of plywood there. It's a riverbank, you know how that is. River gets up, it washes through people's houses, garages, whatever. And everything just automatically gets washed down into the riverbank. That's why we have so many tires in the river. We call them West Virginia River Flowers here. There's so many of them. <laughs> but recently, in recent years, there's been a um, you know a, a real concerted effort to get uh, to get the tires out. There's been a lot of tire drags, tire tugs they they call them, and people will bring you know side by sides and stuff like that. And, uh, have one guy wading out into the river putting hooks onto the old tires and then you know the guy the other guy winches them out but uh, we've done several of those here you know just getting it all cleaned back up again but look how pristine that looks this river's looked more or less like this except for the piece of plywood for millions of years it's looked exactly like this. Beautiful, isn't it? You feel really privileged to live somewhere like this. And this is, you know, like I said, this is just a random spot beside the river. This is, you know, nothing, nothing particularly beautiful. I just knew it was a decent spot to set up and a little sandy bank down there to put a tent on. And, uh, you know, just kind of came down here. All right, we got another spot or two. I've got uh, another one, the next one that I want to check. Has a lot of swift water and should be some really good bass fishing if I can get down in there. I haven't been down in this one. I, I've been, I was here last fall, but the other one I haven't been to in probably a couple years. So I don't know what kind of shape it's in, but we're going to go find out, ain't we? Sure is nice and a beautiful day. About 81. Beautiful weather. Good day to get out, be out of the house, isn't it? Somebody over there shooting. Of course, you know, it's West Virginia, you don't pay much attention to that around here. <laughs> But right there on that little sandy bank y'all may have seen uh, my camping video from past this past fall uh, right there is where I set up at this has changed the rivers changed it this you could back up right here and this bank came out this way hmm little creeks changed it used to go 
behind and out over there. Well, either way, the dog tracks, somebody's dog and somebody's deer. And deer tracks too. But you can see all kinds of old, just junk. Wash down the river, coal. Of course, it is West Virginia, so you'll have coal all over the place, and that thing don't weigh but just a few pounds or a few ounces. Really light. Look how pretty that is. Trash aside, now, y'all, it's it's a riverbank, so you know. <laughs> Wow, it is pretty, isn't it? Like a decent little swimming hole right up there, too. All right. Let's go check out the other one. We know what this one looks like nowadays. Got check this one out. Now, this is the third site that, I've, that I'm checking out today. It's just a little country road there and a little turn off coming down here to the river but I am I, I haven't even looked beyond where I'm parked I'm liking this one already check this out good place to hide your can am hide your camp I don't know something about uh, you know something about camping I, I like my I like it to be stealthed you know what I mean I don't like to I like campgrounds too don't get me wrong but given a choice, I would much rather do something like this. Uh, I stopped. Uh, I left the Can-Am sitting there. It's a little bit of a hill here. I'm sure the camera don't do it justice, but I'm sure we could make it. But it's pretty muddy. It just finished raining a little while ago. So I'm going to leave the Can-Am at the top of the hill and walk down. Check it out. For those of you who don't know, don't ever walk in the mud. Get over in the weeds and go down there. Look at this, though. Look at the size of that thing. Ow! Oh, that thing is massive. I am liking this. Off the beaten path. Look at this great big open area right here. I'll come over with a weed eater. <laughs> I hear the water. Now I haven't been down to this one. This one's something different. The third one that I was going to go to the the trail is no longer there so you can't get down to it there but i did find this one and somebody's been coming down through here because you can see atv tracks and stuff like that i see an island down there i think we found it i think we found our spot I like this. Very woody. And you can tell somebody's drove down through here in the last few days. They're not like really fresh tracks, but they are tracks. Hello. Look at that. Wow. It's a little island right there. That is a nice looking spot.
<laughs> still going. It's just a path from here. Let's see what's down here. Okay, this one's... I don't know. It looks pretty interesting. Nice spot right there. I can see fish from here. Very nice. Looks like a little small beach down here. Right. Kind of like an obstacle course. Okay, this is a bit much, but we're going anyway. We're already here. <laughs> Little fish are gone. There were several right there. That is not too shabby at all, is it? See a little beach right there. Get out on some of these logs too. Look at the deer tracks down here. My God, look at the size of that one. Compared to my foot, look at that. Wow. A little bitty one. Back through the weeds. Somebody's been fishing here before. Look at that little fire ring. Check this out. If I don't fall in the creek. Little fire ring. Decent little spot. Deep hole of water. Good catfishing, no doubt. That's deep all the way up through there. I'll bet you this is a really good spot. Danny, what do you think? I kind of like this one. A little bit of a walk to, well, we could park. You know, you bring a can am on down, I guess. It's not so muddy. I kind of like this one myself. What do y'all think? <laughs> Man, that is really pretty. Nothing around here. Nothing but you and some water. What's that up there? Here's another little beach. A little outcropping right there. If we can get to it. Throw a line in some of that more open water. I 
Oh yeah. Look at that. Sit up right there. Get all that deep water. That'll work, won't it? A great little fishing spot. And you've got access to, oh Lord, the whole river bank all the way down and all the way up too. I think we found it. I like this one. Except for the weeds, but you know, that's why God makes machetes, right? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like it, man. That's nice. Somebody set them up a nice little place here. I mean, it's not big, but you don't. How much room do you need? Throw out some bait. All right. I guess I'm gonna look at that. How pretty. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm sold. This one here, that's a lot bigger area. A lot more room to roam. Get different fishing spots. Just some weeds, you know, you gotta contend with. But like I said, we take a machete, make a quickie path. But we're heading back up that way. It ain't much of a path, but it is. And there was the other one that way. And we were going up this way. <sighs> that one goes on down too. Uh huh. Into the birds. Just singing away. I like those shallows over there too. Good bass, bass water right there. <laughs> but it's nice and cool here in the summer too and the canopy overhead but it's nice and cool here but just look at this they look like ready-made campsites that just need mowed a little bit. Right there. Nice one. Looks like a little path going down the hill, too. Sure is. I said I'd like to get down to the shallows. Right there it is. Uh-huh. And look at the game trail. Look at that. It's just all churned up mud. Look at that. That's a game trail. That's not a creek. <laughs> But anyway, I see the Can-Am. But yeah, I'm pretty much sold. I think this is it. Tons of firewood. Everything you could possibly ask for. I like it. Uh-huh. What do you think, guys? 
<laughs> There's the can am right there. All right, I guess we found it. This answers my question. I like this much better than the other two. Okay, all right. I'm gonna, I guess, look here. Big rat trap floated down the river. Landed right there. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go, I guess, load up in the Can-Am and head back home and give this video to Heather. I just figured since I was coming out looking at some stuff I knew was going to be super pretty, I figured you guys might like to come along. So I brought the camera with me. <laughs> How pretty is that? Just deep, dark nothingness. Look at that. How pretty is that? That's a great view, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Anyway, guys, we'll talk to you a little bit later. Thank y'all for watching, coming along. Hope you enjoyed the pretty views and all that good stuff. And uh, we will see you next time on the Hillbilly Files. Next time we'll see if we can't, you know, find a bunch of murderers or something. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye.